Hey there, Griff Hamlin here from Blues Guitar Unleashed. Welcome, thanks for joining me. Today's video is Funk Guitar Unleashed. <laughs> now, I don't actually have Funk Guitar Unleashed, but this is a technique that's it's very valuable, both in sort of funkier styles of blues, and of course, funk music, traditional funk in general. Um, and it's it showcases something that is often sort of misunderstood or, or just simply played incorrectly. And it's a technique that I would I would very much like to fix as best as I possibly can. So let's let's get into it. I'm going to start with just a basic E9 chord. Now, if you can't play the whole chord, seventh, sixth, seventh, seventh, seventh. Okay. If you can't play the whole thing, just play like the top three strings, the seventh fret. That'll be fine. Or perhaps just the fourth, third, second first, that'll be fine. Do whatever you can do. It's not important how much of this chord you get, to be honest. Most of the time you're playing this in a band setting, and those top three strings are all I'm using more often than not, okay? So keep that in mind. Now what I want you to really watch is as I strum this, one, two, and three, and four, and one. See how my wrist is moving? I'm kind of whipping the strings, okay? If I break strings on my guitar, more often than not, it's from playing this style of music, right? It's not from... It's not from doing bends, it's from striking hard when I'm playing rhythm like this. Okay, this is something that you cannot be timid with. So what I want you to get used to doing first, before we do anything else, is one, two, three, and a four, and a one, and a two. And you hear how on the downbeats, I hit it a little bit harder. And you can see my wrist kind of flows. If I have a straight arm, if I'm, if I'm tight in this, in, in how I'm holding my pick and in my arm, it's very difficult to, you can hear how the pick kind of it's like you're pushing it across the strings. You want to drag it across the strings. So I want it to be quick and actually kind of loose. You'll drop your pick sometimes, that's okay. You'll, ha you'll have to feel it out. You'll get to a point where you don't drop your pick, <laughs> but it's not, it's not that. We don't want that. That's a tight pick. We don't want that. We want a casual, loose pick that can go quickly and easily across the strings. Okay, so when you got that, and again, if you can tap your foot, one, two, three, four. Notice I'm dividing each beat into four pieces. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so now I've got the chord I'm striking it on the downbeat and then I just relax. So it continues to do my muting for me. One, two, three, four, one. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. Right, you can go. And you don't you probably don't have to go too much faster than that. That's, that's you know, kind of a common, that's a pretty decent speed. Okay, now, in most funk, there is a particular rhythmic construct. And that construct is the dotted eighth note, sixteenth note. So here's what I want you to do. One. Notice that I miss the strings twice, but, but that my arm keeps moving. That is the secret sauce to make this work. One, miss, miss, a two. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E. Three E and a four E. Now, 
Now sometimes you might you might hit them all or anyway you, what I'm what I'm getting at is you might accidentally hit the strings an extra time than you mean to. You might hold your hand down a little bit longer than you intend to. You might get these slight subtle variations. It's okay. Don't count that as wrong. It will always sound okay as long as that right arm, or if you're left-handed, your, your strumming arm, right? As long as that strumming arm is keeping the time, is keeping that motor running, everything's gonna cruise along and be very smooth. That particular, like I said, that rhythmic construct, right? One and two. It's the same thing as like um, Doobie Brothers. Okay, it's a different chord. It's a minor seventh chord up on a, a G. One E and a two. One E and a two. It's that same thing. Um, if we're doing funk, one E and a two, and a three, and a four, and a one. So the rest of this basically comes from just a couple of offbeat things. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one, a two, e, and a three, e, and a four, e, and a one, e, and a two, e, and a three, e, and a four, e, and a. So I'm hitting some kind of oddball stuff there, but it works. And you'll notice that I will one, e, and a two, e, and a three, e, and a four, e, and a. Kind of makes a little melody. I'll reach out with my pinky to that ninth fret to get the 13 in there. Now, if you can't play that whole thing, again, all I need is that. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two and a three E and a four E. And then if I go to like an A, right, we go to the four chord, which in E would be A, you'll notice that I don't have to move anything. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a right. I don't I don't have to make any melody or make any change, but I could one a two and a three and a four e, and a one right. And that's sort of that standard blues move that we make. I call that the, it's like the Rolling Stones move. You know, you just do this all the time. That Funk 49 move. Do it in Clapton's tour down. You know, it's that classic bridge move that we do. Uh, I probably got that in another video, so I won't spend a bunch of time on it, but hopefully you get the idea. Same thing with the five chord. Two and a three. Right, going from the five chord to the four chord, I just use that half step down. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two and a three E and a four E and a one. Back to E. So I'm using that same rhythm. I'm using that same rhythm pattern for the whole thing. One E and a two. My right arm just keeps trucking along. And I can slide in or not. And then I'm back to the top again. So it's once you get that groove, once your right arm is comfortable, once your your whole body has that groove, changing the chord a little bit here or there, it's really not going to be that much trouble for you. If you've got that fundamental groove and your right arm is just moving along and keeping the time for you and driving the bus, everything else kind of falls into place. It's a, it's a whole lot easier once you get that groove going. So I hope you'll take some time and work on that. As always, if you've got some uh, guitar playing friends that you think would benefit from this video, I hope you'll share it with them. 
I'll leave links near this video for information on my website, sign up for the Four Notes Solo or the guidebook, uh, various different kinds of fun things you can grab. And as always, I'm Griff Hamlin from Blues Guitar Unleashed. I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.